Okay, we are up, we are live. Hey, what it do, fellow gamers? It's me, your boy, the Death Topping, finally back for something a little bit different. Uh, welcome, welcome, peeps, welcome. Yes, live chat is, it takes a minute. Um, <laughs> rabbit, okay, that's adorable. Um, new starting overlay, I've had that for a little bit. Um, I got that not too long ago. Uh, I'm really pleased with this uh, new uh, stream overlay that I got. Um, so we are playing something a little bit different tonight. Um, you, you guys are also going to hear Eden in the background a little bit. She's playing Stardew Valley with some friends. Uh, that's all right. That's all good. Uh, before we get going, it seems like we have a slew of new followers. Um, let me get those up. Let's see. Gulang on top. V Manolia, Winstino, Maugior, Night PHP. <laughs> one 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 five. Click on me, please. For thank you so much for those follows. Appreciate it. Crops, 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 crops. No, it's just five thirty-five for me, and you're playing in the evening. Kind of funny. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I have. I'm assuming five thirty-five in the morning for you where you're at. Cause it's evening over where I'm at. It's eight thirty over here. Ah, okay. Cool. Okay, but tonight, yes, we are playing Hammerting this evening or morning, wherever you're at. Uh, it's a little different um, because we couldn't get enough dwarf content on this channel. I've been looking at this game for a little bit, um, and I've been curious about it, but I haven't gotten it because I heard it's gotten somewhat mixed reviews. Uh, when, when butter churn? I still need to get the money for that equipment, Kieran. I still need to pay rent and everything, my dude. Once that Twitch money hits from those 100 subs, then we'll that'll definitely be uh, further sped along. Thank you, Brian, for those pins. Churn butter when? God damn it. Is that just going to be the meme until until we get to the churning butter stream? <laughs> oh, boy. Churn butter when? <laughs> okay, sounds good. I would assume nothing less of you guys in chat. Um... But yeah, tonight, so this game, Hammer Ting, is an early access game, um, and it's very much like, if you guys have ever heard of the game Dwarf Fortress, it definitely feels a lot like that, but a lot more accessible, somewhat, if that makes any sense. Um, it's a lot easier to, like, get a hold of than Dwarf Fortress is, in my opinion, but the, the gripe that I have with this game is that its tutorial isn't the best. It's still in early access, so hopefully they'll develop that out. But I got this game through um, a Humble Bundle. I found their, uh, the membership thing that they have, which gives you like a certain amount of games every month uh, for like, I think it's like 15 bucks or something, or like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. Don't worry, I'll use you as a tutorial. <laughs> I've played this game, like, I've gotten through one good, like, save. It took me a couple tries to, like, really get it going. Because if you get to, like, a certain point and you don't have a certain, like, resource, you're basically screwed. Because your buildings um, slowly take damage and you need to repair them. So you need to have, like, a constant upkeep of, I think they're called, like, granite blocks or something. But let's get into it. Um, we'll go ahead and start. We'll name our colony. It's a good, like, dwarven colony name. Let's go with... Iron Star. No, nope. Iron Star. God damn it. All right. Set colony name. Nope. There we go. I have to do that. Gotta love. Oh my goodness. There. Okay. You have to hit enter, apparently. Okay. That's fine. Uh, okay. We'll go ahead and do normal default difficulty. That's what I've been playing on so far. I'm not going to go ham on everything because I'm still kind of learning the game. <clears throat> Uh, we'll keep enemy lives on, default mountain size, so yes, somewhere in the Mara mountain range, on the cold and foreboding peak of Mount Karaz Tarum, a colony of dwarves prepares to establish itself in a place otherwise long abandoned by their kind, support the League of Methus in the Great War on the Overworld, and unravel the mysteries of a mountain varying with each playthrough. So yeah. The mountain randomly generates throughout each playthrough, so no matter what, you get a different sort of setup each time. Kind of like a Minecraft seed, almost. Uh, welcome to the mountain. You control a colony of dwarves aiming to establish themselves in the mountain and to support their faction in the Great War raging on the overworld. To do this, you must dig, mine, build, and craft. 
Build a quarry and explore until you amass sufficient mountain lore to acquire the knowledge of metallurgy. And construct a small foundry. Continue to trade, explore, and acquire new knowledge for further progress. So we'll go ahead and show you guys what the tutorial here for this game looks like. Because normally tutorials in games like this, they have a very, like, like a dedicated, like, level, almost. This game's still, like, when did this game come out, actually? Let me just, let me look this up real quick. Because it feels like it came out recently, but it's still in early access. Hammer, ting... Steam. Let's see. So it came out October 27, 2020. So it's still pretty early in its development. It doesn't even have a year under its belt quite yet. Um, but we'll see. I'm from what I've seen so far. I'm really hopeful for this one because I played other dwarven colony simulators before. There was this one that I played for a while called Dwarf Corp. That was pretty fun. But they haven't made consistent updates, and their dwarves AI was weird. Um, so yeah, so this is what I mean by the tutorial. This left is the top bar where you can see the status of your mountain home. It just kind of like tells you what it does and doesn't actually like open it or explain it for you. Uh, next, use these buttons to reach the overworld map, research new technologies, or manage your mountain home. I can't get out of full screen. Oh no, <laughs> you're in it now, Brian. <laughs> So yeah, you have your knowledge, which is basically your research, your logbook, which are like uh, events in your history. So if somebody gets attacked, that gets logged there. Or if like new breakthroughs have been made, they get logged there. Uh, ledger, permanent summary of all accumulated information. How is that not different than the logbook? Uh, you can assign your dwarves to specific tasks with the job broker. You can recruit new dwarves and you can go to the overworld to trade. In this area, you can see how much coin, lore, and dwarves you have. The top one. The right top bar displays time-related information. Uh, okay. Use speed controls to pause, resume, or speed up the game. This is the current date in the game. Here you can find the buttons uh, for Book of Tings, where you can learn more about the game and main menu. And then down here you'll find the action menu. From this menu you can make orders for your dwarves. If you want a specific dwarf to carry an order, left-click on the dwarf before issuing an order. Use the infrastructure and room section to expand your base. They will bring you more options as you research. Finally, we've got the outliner, kind of right behind my head there, which lists your dwarves, rooms, missions, and alerts. Go forth. Sounds of footsteps approach from the entrance. Your adventure is about to start. Expand your mountain home and help your allies in the overworld. A suggestion is to follow the cave missions on the outliner if you should feel lost. May your riches, may your riches ever be bountiful. Good luck. Yeah, so that's the entire tutorial. <laughs> You see what I mean with it kind of not being super intuitive? It definitely took me a couple of saves to get started, but I feel like over time, I definitely learned more as I just kind of played the game. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead. We got to build a nice small quarry first. Get that going. Yeah. And then they have tutorial pop-ups, which really go into like detail of it. Um... So, yeah. But in a nutshell, this game is about building a colony of dwarves in the mountain and then trading with people in the overworld. We'll go ahead and do look at that while they build that quarry. Welcome to the overworld. This is a world inhabited by other people than just dwarves. From kingdoms of humans to orcish war tribes uh, surrounds your mountain home, trying each day to expand their reaches, trade wares, or fulfill missions in order to improve your reputation with these factions. Okay. All right. A lot of talking here. Starting off with the interface, the top bar remains the same as in the mountain home, except with the new mountain home icon that now returns you to the mountain. Take note that the game won't pause automatically while you, when you open the overworld. This can be changed in the options menu. The outliner now looks slightly different, now showing contents related to the overworld. So yeah, those show the locations there. This is your mountain home, Iron Star, watching the world from its high perch. Here you command your dwarves and change the world with your influence. Over here lies the lumber mill known as Amundeberg. Leave a good impression by trading with them to earn trade lore uh, and explore new locations. Ooh, these guys look scary. They look like um, the chaos fuckers from uh, Warhammer. This is the location window for Amundeberg. From here you can buy, sell wares, or pick up missions. This area details a specific location. Here you can see the location's health, fortification, or your trade level with the location. 
Each location is a part of a larger faction. A Moonberg, in particular, are part of Zakath. In this area, you can find statistics about the faction. Manpower and might are shared with all locations under the same banner, and whenever they've amassed enough resources, the factions will send out armies to combat their foes. The notice board will list current events that are transpiring within the location. This area lists either what you can buy from this location, or what you can sell, or what missions are available. Whenever you buy or sell items with a location, you can see in this area what items are currently being traded. Go beyond. The world awaits! It's time for you and your entourage of fellow dwarves to spread the good word of your colony, make allies or enemies, and venture beyond the halls of stone for glory and riches. For stone and steel, let the world know of the dwarves of Ironstar. 2 out of 10, not rock and stone. Okay. That's basically the whole game is building up your colony, trading to other peeps, and just kind of influencing how the world goes from there. Let's see what mission they have for us. So we just need to establish trade levels. So let's go ahead and head here. And then with our research here, so this is our research section here, right? This is where we research new technologies and new like buildings that we can have. Um, and so the first one we want to get to is actually metallurgy. So that way we can actually smelt the ores that we find into ingots. And then from there, we should probably get trade relations so we can actually make dwellings for our dwarves here. So let's go ahead and craft some granite chunks to get going. And then we'll go ahead and maintain these guys. Maintain that like 60 for now. Is this slavery? No. <laughs> it's establishing a colony. These dwarves aren't slaves. <laughs> I certainly hope they're not anyway. Okay, well, we got some resources there. From there's, there's like um, satchels and stuff spread throughout the, the mountain that we can uh, look through for some basic supplies. So now that we have some of those, let's get some orders for granite blocks. Oh, we got a slime. Eat him up. There we go. And then we'll maintain 20 of those for now. And then we'll get our main export for the time being granite pillars. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And we get more mountain lore, which we need for research by just exploring the mountains. So we'll go ahead and send this guy, because he's already beaten up a few slimes. We'll go ahead and send him forth. Come, friend. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a bit of water here. That's nice. We'll need that for later. Okay, cool. We already got a ton of, like, mountain lore from random uh, cave missions here. So let's see. We need copper ore. There's a few of that around here. Let's go and grab those. Yeah, it's going to be a very casual stream tonight, guys, as we just play hammer, uh, hammer tang and everything. But yeah, now that all that's out of the way, how's everybody doing tonight? It's been a while since I've seen you guys. We're unfortunately, for those who don't already know, uh, we're having to cancel uh, Sunday streams for the time being, at least until I get my change in schedule at my uh, new workplace, because they currently have me working on Sundays, and I have game already on Sundays. Oh, that water do be jiggling though. What the fuck was that? So, yeah. Sadly, uh, Breath of the Wild's uh, ending will have to wait. Um, at least until I get my department change. Hopefully by the end of August. It'll definitely be sometime at the end of the month, I think. Okay. Cool, so they're working on that. We have enough mountain lore for some research, I think. So let's get subterranean farming so we can actually start getting food for these poor fuckers. Um, cave farm, here we go. Yes, I remember these things, Eden. <laughs> Need granite slab. Okay, let's get let's just get some of these guys done too. Okay. We'll actually crank this up to a hundred, I think. Yeah, there we go. We can speed this up a little bit. 
We don't have to go in real time. Yeah, get used to this setting, guys, because this is usually what I play this game on. <laughs> it's super fast, just so they can get their stuff done real quick. Oh, we need granite. Crushed granite, too? Jesus. All right, we'll go ahead and throw that in. Maintain. We'll go up to 20. Yeah. Okay. Ting, 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 ting. You're starting to see why it's called Hammer Ting now, right, Brian? Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, now, okay, we have plenty of ch chunks. Let's go ahead and prioritize some of this nonsense. Move up the slabs, I think. Our exports can wait. There we go. Okay, I can pause these. There we go. Okay, let's do that then. We have plenty of granite chunks to get this get this going. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. Ting 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 Oh man. Okay. So now we have this stuff here. What's this one? Five mushrooms and water easy let's go ahead and get some of those going let's actually maintain that amount and then maintain this amount here there we go perfect this is like if the dwarves of deep rock never went to space if they actually just kept it as a fantasy setting okay so now that's done let's set up our small foundry right here These guys will be kept busy for a little bit. Possible orders. Oh, we need granite blocks. Yeah, so that's the thing is you need blocks of granite to like maintain your, your building health because like see how it's like already like damaged and everything. The more you use your buildings, the more damage they get. And if you don't have a nice supply of granite blocks, you're basically screwed. <laughs> Which is very, very unfortunate, at least for my first playthrough. Yeah, they also have stuff like talents and everything that you can give them. You can actually, apparently, you can also pre-build uh, talents and everything. Um, so we'll give this one... What's this guy's stats? His wisdom is pretty good. Go ahead and make use of that, I guess. And his awareness is pretty decent, too. We'll go ahead and give him some of that, too. Yeah. And then from there, I think we're good there. I like that you can pre-build your dwarves. I didn't realize this until like uh, the last time I played this, which was like a couple days ago or something. Um, that you can like pre-build their talents and everything, which makes that process so much easier. Okay, so they're working on that. Let's go ahead and get some of our exports sent out. <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead and sell our granite pillars there. This is what I mainly sold in my other playthroughs is my granite pillars. So that'll help build our trade level, which will give us trade lore. And that combined with our mountain lore will give us advanced knowledges. I think I'm going to go with trade relations first, then medicine. I've learned the hard way with a lot of these things, guys. <laughs> use this to smelt our copper that we have. Okay, and then they're, they're going to go deliver all of those. We need vaults, that's right. We need a vault to store all of our cash monies in. Go ahead and throw that in. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys won't get tired of that, because there will be a lot of the, those tings throughout this playthrough. Um, okay, so that vault's ready to go. Let's build ourselves like a little chest near the uh, this little foundry here. And then we have a bit of coal, I think, scattered around. We need a nice little storage system going. When do I actually get storage? Is it not this one, not this one? It's this one. Adequate trade records. That should be one of the next few things that I get. 
Because then you can have like a huge storage room which you can put literally whatever and it makes the ground a lot less fucking cluttered. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little different than what we normally play on uh, Mondays. We usually play a lot of, like, uh, high-intensity FPSs or Phasmophobia. <laughs> but this is, I feel like this is a nice welcome addition to Mix Up Mondays when I'm looking for a more chill night. Especially with my current work schedule. <laughs> okay. And then let's go ahead and make a maintain order of 20 for ingots. We have plenty of copper in the surrounding area. Phasmophobia, the best FPS game. FPS horror game. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll do beekeeping in a little bit to get honey. Honey's not important un until later when we can do brewing, because then we can make mead with it. And it's a much cheaper brew to make. There we go. Do the tings. Do the tings. Your fishing scares. <laughs> oh god, it has been a while since I played that. I'd like to. I think uh, not next week because I think next week I want to do Apex because of the new season that came out recently. Um, but eventually, I'd like to uh, get back into playing Phasmophobia. Bye. I should sleep now. I'm out. All right. Well, thank you for swinging by with us, uh, Devcos. Uh, get some rest, my dude. Thank you for swinging on by today. Yeah, with Apex's new uh, season that came out and their new uh, champion, I'm definitely wanting to do that. So we're probably gonna do that next week, and I think the week after we'll do Phasmophobia. Yeah, and then do we not have trade levels with them yet? Are you kidding me? We've given you three. <laughs> Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh, they have a high demand for copper ingots. Okay, sure. Let's give you ten of those. Fuck it. There you go. Make a ton of money that way. Fuck yeah. Alright, there they go. Yeah, we're gonna want to get medicine as quickly as possible after we get them their dwellings. So let's get those trade levels up actually monitor their progress too I really appreciate the the icons they gave them they have like 2d sprites and they can run backwards oh man I love early access games and just how weird they can get it's so good there we go we got like six trade lore from that nice deliver one lantern we should be able to do that what does it take to make a... Oh, do we need the... Hold on. It's not the foundry. That's what we used to smelt stuff. We need blacksmithing to make the smithy. But we have enough trade lore, so let's get dwarven trade relations. Yeah. Rena? Hi, baby. Come in, Rena. Are you just going to chill at my feet? Okay. <laughs> All right. What do you mean complete an over... I've just... I didn't accept an overworld mission, but I completed an overworld mission. Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, back to work, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and make these guys' dwellings here. I'm thinking we'll place it up top, like here maybe, or something like that. Right next to the quarry, so they can constantly be at work. <laughs> What does it take for these? We'll go ahead and make it pretty. We'll go ahead and make a nice, uh, nice stairway here. Okay, let's do that there and just build that up right there. That should do. We'll need a few uh, slabs for those, but those are being made. And then from there, we can actually make our dwellings for these guys. We're gonna need to explore a bit more up there. So we'll let them build those guys. Ting, 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 ting. Oh, there's fucking slimes. Are you serious? Fuck these guys up. Fuck these guys up. 
I see. <laughs> Hello, Gamma. Good to see you in chat. How are you, my friend? Okay, we're gonna need some. She's at my feet. <laughs> Still playing Stardew? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Rina? I was camping in Colorado the past week and I'm glad to be back in my own bed. Oh, nice. How was that? That sounds like fun. Okay. We don't have granite chunks. Oh, we only have like two. <laughs> See, they're doing prioritization. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, we're gonna need more blocks. Let's get that up there. Yeah, because we have plenty of slabs, I'm not worried about it. Yes, I know we have a damaged building. It's pretty good. Nice. Did you do anything fun while you're out there? You just go camping in like tents and stuff like that. There we go. Get on up there, buddy. Okay, cool. Now that we have a good idea of what this looks like, let's build our dwellings. Go ahead and start like right there. Right. Right about. Let's do like here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need ingots, lumber, pillars. Jesus Christ. Okay. But yeah, let's get these dwarves some homes. So they can actually have <laughs> sleeping quarters, not sleep in the quarry. Okay. Cool. It'll be a bit of a rough start, but we'll be all right. How's this do? Deafness? What does that do? Oh, maximum energy. Nice. Good. Good fervor. Love that. Let's see. Maximum morale. Okay. Let's give you... What's your robustness compared to... What's your name? Omar? What's your robustness compared to Scotty? Ooh. I think Scotty needs a rugged mindset. More health. Yeah, there we go. I think we'll actually give Omar the same thing. So they got good fervor, so they'll be good at uh, fighting and stuff like that. Okay. We have plenty of blocks. We're going to need that to repair the farm here shortly. Okay. I avoided a day where apparently we weren't supposed to go outside because of Canada and California wild sm wildfire smoke converging. Yeah, I kind of felt that, like, the other day when I left work. The, the sun had, like, that glow when, like, smoke's in the sky and everything. Had like that deep orange glow. It was very spooky. I had to go on a trail that had a bunch of fossils and accidentally hiked nine miles without proper equipment. Jesus Christ, my dude. You going up mountains and shit? What the fuck? Them big ass trails, boy. Well, it sounds like fun. I'm glad you had a good time with that. All right. Friends, not to my dwarven friends. We shall give you your homes. There we go. Place some blocks down there. Okay. I went to Rocky Mountain National Park and kind of got altitude sick. Oh, God. I can only imagine, man. I was not built for the mountains. <laughs> it's okay, my friend. I'm not either. <laughs> But these dwarves certainly are. I also appreciate that in this game, the um, from what I saw, it said that the dwarves have like weird pathfinding, but these dwarves seem to be doing okay. At least compared to the the other like uh, dwarf colony sim that I played, Dwarf Corp, they seem pretty good here. So that's good. Yeah, seem to be doing all right. Okay, how are we doing? There, okay. This guy's just working, just fucking slaving down there. 
So do you pay them? Yes. They Once they get their dwellings, they take some of the coins up here. And um, which dwarves will withdraw wages whenever their greed reaches precarious levels. So yeah, they take money from the, the, the vault that's supposed to be being built right now. Uh, whenever they're uh, so they have stats they have energy morale and greed whenever their greed reaches a particular uh, level they withdraw money and bring it back to their dwelling so they kind of make their own wages but um, they get to choose it so you know what good on them man I'm watching an ad oh shit well that's because you're not sub to the death top <laughs> If you want to have ad-free viewing, subscribe today. Oh, okay, back. Welcome back, Kama. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what ad did you get? I want to know what ads are being put on my channel. Okay, let's get medicine so we can actually heal these sons of bitches. And then... Let's put the infirmary... Where do you want to put that? Hmm. We'll go ahead and slap that. Put that on top of the farm. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, Rena's at the tower. I got a Spanish ad, so I didn't know what it was. Oh, shit. Okay. Come here, Rena. You want to be on Rena Cam? Ah. Hello, baby. Hi. Oh my goodness. Marina, you guys, has been very attentive to me whenever I leave for work late at night. She likes to come see me off before I go, because I leave at like 3 in the uh, 3.30 in the morning. And that's usually, before I got this job, that's when we would hang out at night. Uh, and she would just like, just come hang out with me while I was playing Apex with the, the boys or something. Oh. <laughs> you just burp. <laughs> so cute. Hey. Okay. Just saw a thing I posted when I was watching the ad. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. So they're all working on that now. Do we have enough granite pillars? We do not. That has been paused. <laughs> okay. You guys get to work on that. We'll go ahead and figure out our placement for... Our infirmary, excuse me. Okay, so our dwelling's gonna go there. We can actually just clear this area right here, right? We can put that down there. Oh yeah. We'll slap that slap that down there. Cool. Alright, and then we'll build another one next to this top one. I think we'll just go ahead and give them like nice segmented areas here. Cool, cool. Beam. Make that real fast. Okay. Sweet. I just said I'm watching an ad. Give me a sec. And I saw the second one actually post. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Also forgot to ask, how's it going? It's going. Um, I'm a little sad that I'm pretty. I think you saw our post uh, the other day for um, uh, us canceling single player Sunday streams for the time being, at least until I get my schedule change at my new job. Uh, I'm a little bummed out about that. I'm not gonna lie, um, but you know, such is life. Um, I have to focus on you know actually paying rent and shit like that. And unfortunately. As of right now, Twitch does not pay the bills quite yet, but hopefully that'll change in the near future. I would love, I would love nothing more than to do this shit full time. That would be fucking incredible. Oh yeah, see, our wages—they're the money's going down. They're taking their money. Yeah, I saw that F in the chat for single player Sundays. That's for the time being, fortunately. So it's not a permanent thing because I really want to keep playing stuff on the weekends with you guys because that's. That was the best time to do such, up until I got this uh, new schedule. Um, so yeah, because I still want to play... Oh shit, we unlocked new settlements. Let's go ahead and see. They still need the lantern. They still have very high demand for copper ingots. 
let's go ahead and sell 10 of those. Okay, well, I already sold that much, so that's fine. What about you guys? Granite pillars? Okay, we can do these ones. Modem beam, three beams and 10 blocks of granite? No problem. We'll go ahead and make those right now. Go and just maintain five, I think. Okay, cool. We'll go and get those trades out. Uh, so it shall be resurrected. Hell yeah. And also when I was camping, I did a mining thing and went on a proper train for the first time in my life. Oh, a train? Like a choo-choo train? Because <laughs> I saw you put asterisks around that. I wasn't sure if you like meant something different by that. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on a, a train myself. I think the last time I was on a train, I think it was visiting Eden up at uh, her place because uh, we used to live uh, in Bellingham. Uh, before that, I would make like visits and everything out there. <clears throat> and I think one one time, I took the uh, the train to get back, and it was it was interesting. It was it was weird. It was a late night train, and. Um, it was just so quiet. It was like one other person in the other in the in the car with me. I've been on a knockoff a knockoff train. It wasn't very good. What's a knockoff train? Okay. Oh, we got a few settlements to dink around with now. All of these are Zakath. So well. <laughs> oh, they have. Oh, they have. They have needs. Needs for granite pillars and blocks of granite. That which I shall provide. There we go. Okay. Let the purchases and selling commence. Okay. Do they have any animal bones? High demand for animal bones. Well, I don't have those, so... Okay. Okay. A snaky bus? It was like a train with sort of cars? That's weird. I don't think I've ever heard of something like that before. Okay, so we need to heal our buildings right now. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're all over that. Cool. That got fixed. We're good. This isn't actually a train because it doesn't use tracks. So it's like a train if it was a bus is what I'm hearing, right? Am I hearing that correctly? Wait, where did all of our ingots go? Oh, they were used up there. Okay, that makes sense. It's a bus with joints. I think I know the ones you're talking about. Doesn't it have like the uh, the one in like the, the, there's like that segment in the middle where it like, when it turns around corners, it like kind of like expands out or something. Something like that. Because I think our city, we actually have a few of those. I used to take one of those kinds of buses into, like, school and everything. Okay, why do we not have... Do we not have lumber? Well, I think we're just building, maintaining orders right now. Okay, well, this one's nearly done. There we go. Okay, they're just finishing mining that out. We have those resources, right? We have to. Because I know we have at least one or two things of lumber. Oh, we might just have one. Shit, okay. In that case, we need to go buy some. Because we can't get trees in a goddamn mountain. Okay, we'll get three of these. Because there, we can't have a forestry in the mountain, goddammit. <laughs> Clear these events. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. There we go. Ting, 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 ting. There we go. What's the kind of elevation where you live? I mean, it's not like... We're a little... Not super high up. Um... Oh god. My dwarf just fucking plummeted. Did you guys see that? <laughs> it's not super high up, but it's not we're like a little we're a little close to sea level, I'd say. Cuz I live near the uh Seattle area. Um 
So we're definitely around that level, but we're not quite there. Roughly sea level. We'll say that much. What the fuck is that? Killer plant? Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Okay. Yeah. Look at him go. Look at all these tings happening. Okay. Well, our infirmary is built, so that's good. And we have a little bit of slime and water in the area, so let's make some healing bits. And we'll get rid of this... Uh, scaffold stair there. It's kind of in the way. Go ahead and put a chest right near here for the time being to store all of our, uh, actually, uh, ba -ba -ba, da -da -da, we'll do right there. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Oh, damn, half as low as where I live, 500 feet. Oh, shit. I don't know the exact elevation, but... I know we're relatively close to uh, to sea level. Okay, so there's one dwelling done. So let's give that to... Yeah, you got well, so you need to stash it. There you go, friend. And then I think we have enough knowledge to collect something. So let's get... Here we go. Adequate trade records. Let's get ourselves some storage. God damn it. Oh, do we need... Oh, we need formalized learning. God damn it. All right, we got to do some exploration here shortly. Okay. Live in about 1,100 feet at altitude. Okay. I'll see if I can get those exact numbers for you. <laughs> okay, so they're running out to go grab those. I think I'm going to have enough to hire one more dwarf, but let me make one more dwelling before we do that. Just so we can have that ready for them when they get here. go. Alright, cool. Does that actually say the altitude of the area we live in for our like, weather app or something? Let me see. Does it say? I don't think it does. Here, let me look it up real quick. Altitude. It just says 85. I don't know if that... Yeah, that's elevation. Wow, that's really... Seattle has higher altitude. What the fuck? How does that even make any sense? Okay, that's weird. Whatever, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Cool, we'll assign this other one to... Do we not have... Oh, we don't have a Briscotti. There you go, friend. Okay, well, we need to get more lumber here shortly. And then let's go ahead and... We have our chest there. Good. We can actually make filters for this stuff. Uh, is it fluid? No, hold on. Uh, da -da -da. Animal resources? Green slime. There we go. We'll have green slime and water. Because that's what we need to make the best medicine, the Balm of Oons. We'll do 20, and we'll actually, we can, we don't need 20, we can maintain 15. There we go, because that that's pretty fucking expensive to make. And I think at this point, we'll put you in a dwelling, and then once we get more lumber, we can get another dwarf going. So let me buy another thing of lumber from these guys. Raise my trade level with them a bit. Sell some ingots while I'm at it. There we go. Okay. Raise our trade level even more. Never mind 1,020 feet. Okay. Nice. Alright. Very good. Very good. They're heading out. Okay, look there. That's pretty well stocked, so that's good. Yeah, only recently did I learn about the uh, the maintain settings, so that way the dwarves will constantly be working. 
Okay, well, we need to send somebody into... Deeper into the mountain eventually, because we need more mountain lore. Okay. Once we get a bit more... Um, actually, we just need that fourth dwelling built. And then we can... Uh, I set this as like a high priority. Okay. Because clicking that cancels that order. Do we actually buy the the stuff for them? <laughs> it must be real heavy town there. <laughs> yeah. Um I don't know about heavy, but it gets pretty it gets pretty warm, at least in the area where I live in. Uh, that's the one thing I do miss about living in, uh, back in Bellingham with Eden. Was uh, It was always nice and chilled there, you know? Okay, I think he's going to go collect that. Yeah, we got the wood. Okay, perfect. How's our trade level with them? Oh, it's 18. We can do better. Let's sell some of our granite pillars. There we go. All right, you don't have a high demand. High, what the fuck? High demand for sweet cake, but you're only buying it for three copper? Bullshit, you're getting sweet cake. Fuck off. And slime. Oh shit, okay, you fought it off, good. Nice. Okay. Cool. So I think they're still out doing trade orders, but they'll be back soon. Oh, nice. Oh, he found an elven kingdom. Look at these pointy-eared leaf lovers. Dwarven embassy. Grave poppy and jelly cake? The fuck? How do we need for those? Flower and old cabbage. Oh, boy. All right, well. Hope you guys don't... Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That was the buy section. I got so excited for a second. I was like, one silver per thing? Holy shit. But nah. They don't take any of that, apparently. F. It's fine. It's fine. Wait. Wait, that's a kingdom right there? Oh, these are just tiles. Okay. These aren't actual, like, settlements. I got so confused for a second. That's fine. Okay, well, we got our... We have our fourth dwelling, so let me hire another... We have a lot of money now. Holy shit. Yeah, let's get another dwarf in here. Let's get a... I could explore if I can find one. Ooh, fleet-footed. speed maximum morale? Ugh, bad morale gain. That's not good. Driven. Bullied youngling. Forgeborn. Oh, that's cool. Okay. These guys have good skills. Oh wait, that's maximum colony value. Okay. Interesting. What does that mean though? Hold on. Hover over this again. Bar represents the maximum skill value for the profession that is found amongst. Oh. Okay. Ooh. I want an explorer. Hmm. Honestly, where's that Forgeborn one? I kind of want that one. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna be good. We'll hire them, and they can do building work around the around the mountain. Oh god, he's fighting the killer plant. Okay, yeah, run. We're gonna need better tools to fight that thing. Okay, so let's not explore that section any longer. Uh. <laughs> No, no, leave that. No, leave it alone. God damn it, leave it alone. <laughs> okay, well we have we have stuff now, so I'm actually gonna pause the game before I go into my knowledge just in case. Uh, okay, we still don't have enough for blacksmithing to make weapons yet, so let's. Where are you going? Where are you going? Please don't go fight the thing. Stop. No. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> okay, let's send you over this way then. 
You're gonna go explore then. And then we'll make this your dwelling. Cool. Alright. Awesome. Uh, I gotta ask under Dwarf Protocol, would I be considered a leaf lover? I mean, do you have any love for elven culture, Gamma? Because that's really the deal breaker. <laughs> Really, summary 18 silver. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, a ruby crab. Fuck it up. Yeah, these guys don't seem to fight back, so that's good. Uh, okay, don't. Where are you going? I, can't, I hate that I can't see where they're where they're heading out. Not really. Where it's the doobie hard. Oh, God. <laughs> You're good, my dude. Okay. Well, in that case, I think you'd be fine. Because baseline, I feel like a leaf lover would be like elven culture. Or... I guess it would be like the equivalent of like a hippie. <laughs> in the in the fantasy world. Okay. Why don't you head out here. And then we'll explore a bit more. Because we need more mountain lore. Because we need to do our research. Okay, okay. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a fucking goblin! Oh my god. How are we gonna fight that thing, though? Can we, can we jump? We can't go up there. Okay. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and just leave that there, then. Get formalized learning, and then, okay, we need more mountain lore, so time to explore some more. <laughs> god fucking damn it. I knew I should. I, fi I feel like I should have gotten blacksmithing instead. Son of a bitch. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we'll go ahead and mine out a bit of this so we can actually get down there and explore. Where are you going though? Where are you going? Okay, nobody's fighting the killer plant. That's what matters. Something doesn't really interest me about living in a fucking tree. <laughs> I mean, I could understand the practical use of it, but honestly, living in a mountain would be so much cooler. Sorry, elves. I really appreciate that the mushroom just, like, kind of falls. Okay, who's... Okay, you head down here. Can you head down here? Okay, explore. Explore, damn it. Oh, that's it? Okay, well... I think we need to build our way across towards that goblin there. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and build some scaffolding across, because that'll be the cheapest thing to get, our get ourselves over there. Just do that. Cool. Okay. I'd rather live in a proper house, or if it existed, a giant as fuck corn stock. <laughs> My man! <laughs> That'd be a very interesting new classification of elf, is if they were, like, corn elves instead of, like, you know, classic wood elves. How interesting would that be, huh? Then Eden, I love elves. Ah, we found the leaf lover, boys. Fucking get her. <laughs> okay, you're still making medicine. That's good, that's good. We can actually use the water here. We can make like a pump or something. Yeah. Oh. A drain sink consumes pumped out fluid units and returns them to the map. The sink outputs fluids and all tiles in its footprint indicated with a droplet. Okay. Interesting. Pointy eared leaf fucker. <laughs> Wait, the goblin's attacking? Oh shit. Okay, beat him up, beat his ass up. Yeah. Nice, okay, cool. And then we can do exp more exploration of that side of the cave. And fortunately, we have a nice upkeep of medicine being made. So that's good. Also, it would be interesting to have a corn elf as a variant of elf, like corn elf. Like just different like, um, like crop elves, I think would be a really cool like variation of elf. Like, I don't know. I'm just, now I'm just thinking of like different races as like <laughs> different bits of produce. <laughs> I feel like dwarves and potatoes would go fucking hand in hand. Oh, it's a fucking rat. The fuck? What the rat doing though? 
Okay, well, now that we have our bridge built, oh, I think it's going to be finished up here. I'd want to be one of those. Yeah, honestly. Dwarves and potatoes would go hand in hand. What other, like, fruits and vegetables would, like, different races be? I'm trying to think. Um, okay, we have these to crack open, so I'm going to get those, friend. Nice, nice. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a little scaffold stair that goes up here, I think. Just poop! There we go. No, don't kill that mole. Don't kill that mole. Kill the slime. Attack it before it destroys the vault! There we go. Okay. Gotta get your extra protein from the Cornells. Okay, Coxcluker. <laughs> Welcome, Eden. Even though you are quite literally like a few feet behind me. <laughs> I kind of heard in the background. Hi, Eden. <laughs> I was playing Stardew with uh, Zach and his girlfriend. It was good? He doesn't? He didn't know that was a thing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, did he talk about uh, his girlfriend about possibly streaming, Stardew? Was that question proposed? Okay. So you don't want me to send you an image of a glue girl? Sure. Go ahead and DM it or post it in Discord if you, if you want. go there we go we have another section of the cave to explore yeah we're definitely getting blacksmithing next because we need proper fucking weapons to take out that killer plant wait why is it damaged did somebody go attack it God fucking damn it okay i'm not ashamed that i love elves i've loved them since i read aragon yeah understandable uh have an unpleasant day <laughs> i'm just kidding what is that, the thing that was damaged? It is a killer plant. It has a pretty decent amount of health and it does a lot of uh, melee attacks against my dwarves. But I think if we ganged up on it, it shouldn't be an issue. Let me actually, let me send these guys to go deal with it and see how they do. Wow, that dwarf is knee deep in work. Okay, yeah, no problem, that guy's dead. I was initially worried because it, I, uh, like a dwarf went there to like go fuck it up and then it got, just got shit on really hard. Okay. Cool. Well, we have another section of the cave to explore. We can just go up there. It's a very surprisingly hollowed out mountain. Like, what the fuck? It's a huge ass cave network. Set in the, the meme dump. <laughs> Alright, cool. Noise killed the plants. It's like an anti pog plant. We know. Hi, Rena. What's up, dude? You didn't nap with me today. Or did she, and I just didn't know. Do you know if she napped with me, hun? Uh, you missed your nap with her. Oh, yeah. Because I came home late, because I had to cut strawberries today. She wanted petals from me this morning, or when you got home. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I had to stay late at fucking work today because I decided to be a good coworker and help my coworker buddy cut strawberries today and it took an extra fucking hour and a half. And I'm only a little upset with myself that I did that. <laughs> but we had to because we had to get the, the strawberry orders out because we had so many of them. Oh, that's it? There's like nothing else here? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Ooh, you good? Yeah. Okay, looks like there's another subsection of the cave down there. You're fine. So let's go ahead and mine this out then. We'll just do it out like that. There we go. That way the, our goobers can still go at it. 
Also, when I came back from my camping trip, my cats freaked the fuck out. They act like they don't need attention, but they were freaking uh, out after not getting it for a week. Oh, shit. There we go. Make a nice little tight stairwell here. Rena Cam. Hi, baby. Meow. Hi, Rena. Yeah. Normally, guys, whenever I come home from work at, like, noon, Rena comes and naps with me throughout the, the day until I wake up at 6. It's super fucking cute. But I came home late today, so I missed it with Rena. She came and visited me at the end of my nap, though. She came to check up on me. Oh, God. So, today we had to go get... Um, we were deciding to do... Normally we do, like, wet food when it comes to, to Rena's stuff, right? Um... Um, yeah, she context. Found food for her yeah. Um, and she hasn't really been eating that much uh, of her wet food lately, and her wet food's pretty fucking expensive. Like it's what, because we get like a chewy order of it. It's like eighty-five dollars or something no. per box. It's fifty. It's fifty. No, I killed a turtle. <laughs> God damn it. I meant to kill the slime. It's 50 for a month's worth of her food, wet food. And then now that she's eating kibbles more than her wet food, you have to buy the kibble version too. And that's $30. Mm -hmm. So it's a grand stink and $80 worth of food every month. Yeah, it's fucking insane. But hopefully with our... Um, with this uh this new kibble set or is the kibble are the kibbles just as expensive okay we're getting live updates okay oh we have a new cave to explore let's get some scaffold stairs just going down here because we have plenty of plenty of fucking granite from the quarry. I'm not worried about that. There we go. We'll mine out this copper while we're at it. Okay, cool. Ting, 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 ting. ting. Alright, cool. You come back. You come over here. You're gonna help me explore. Because we need more mountain lore, goddammit. And there's another tiny-ass cave. That's very, very disappointing. Okay. Well, it looks like there's another thing that goes through here. coming down here. Ooh, big ass cave. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and mine that out. And then why don't we place some scaffold stairs that go down to the bottom. There we go. I know this game had like an automation update done recently so i'm actually very excited to eventually get to that point in my main save where i uh there's like mine carts and stuff that you can like transport materials with um so i'd love to like establish especially for like exploration like forward camps or something to, like transport supplies to that'd be fun um turtles may not be related to the corn but they're still wonderful creatures yeah i accidentally clicked on it i was trying to click on the slime but there was a fucking turtle there apparently i didn't even see it there uh, but yes, they are very wonderful creatures. Don't sit by your fucking toe, goddamn snapping turtles. <laughs> and yes, Gamma, what happened? Please tell. Wet food, fifty dollars. Kibble, thirty. Kibble is much cheaper. Okay, that's good. Rena's such a good girl, and I will do anything for her. Yes, she is a sweetie, even though she is a gremlin. Okay, well now that that's been dealt with over there. Let's grab these mushrooms that are here, and then let's build ourselves a hand pump to really just go ham on the water that's here. There we go. And then we can grab more water to make more medicine with, and eventually make more brew with. 
because we're, we just need one more mountain lore for fucking blacksmithing, god damn it, and then I can make weapons. Although, actually, we killed that plant, so I'm not terribly worried about it. I'll get blacksmithing first, then I'll get trade records next so we can build a storage room. So last week, I broke my fingernail in a way that should have taken a few months to heal back to normal. It's already fully healed. Oh, shit. Yeah, did your nail fall off? The fuck? I actually had a... Speaking of nails, I had a... Oh, God, it was so fucking... It was really painful. Oh, God. Like, the whole fucking nail? Jesus. Let's actually crank this up to... 100. There we go. All right. Well, now we got a few more things for that. Nail. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I swear to God. <sighs> um, but yeah, I had a thing at work. I was tearing apart... Thank you for those bits, Brian. <laughs> oh, no. Never. <laughs> I was waiting for the text-to-speech. <laughs> okay, well, that's working now. Slowly get the, the water out, and we'll have enough for, for brewing and shit like that. We need impossible orders. Well, it just takes... Oh, is that another killer plant? Are you fucking serious? Ah, God damn. Let me actually take a look at that Gluger thing that you sent. Meme dump. The Gluger, the ultimate in sidearm design. Oh, nice. Make sure Gluger has proper ammo loaded. <laughs> Loads Gluger with explosive rounds. <laughs> Well, it doesn't look like there's any other caves up top here. So once this is done, we can probably actually explore that side of the cave. Or, you know what? There's another little bit up here we can go explore, so let's go do that. Scaffold stair! Build these bad boys out. Let me just dig that out and start exploring up there. Okay. We still got plenty of cash. We're good there. And then how much can our vault hold, actually? Oh, 10 gold. I'm not even fucking worried about that shit. Okay. There's like nothing up there. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sad. There we go. Okay. Well, that was disappointing. I guess we have to go explore the fucking cave with the killer plant. Son of a bitch. Also, did you know there's a weapon called the Neopup gun that uses the same ammo as a Vulcan Gatling gun, except it's mobile? What the fuck? Is it a have? Is it like a... Hold on. I want to look it up, but I don't want to show that on stream. Hang on one second. Neopup gun? Neopup gun. Oh shit. Holy fuck! <laughs> That's an insane looking gun. Oh, it's a fucking killer plant. Okay. And a fat rat? Okay, well, now we have blacksmithing, so we don't actually have to go fight those fucking assholes. Um, so let's build the smithy. You know what? Let's do it. Not above, but let's start expanding below. There we go, right under... Does it have the same... I think it does, that's fine. We'll do right below it. We'll have another layer that we can dig to. And then we'll just put scaffold stairs and go down to the bottom here. I love that they just like <laughs> they don't even dig it out first. They just fucking, like, build it. That's great. Oh, Jesus. They just fucking <laughs> worked out the whole thing. Oh, that's nice. Okay, cool. Whatever. That's cool. It's fine. Um...
a little more of that. There we go. A nice little subsection down here just for the smithy. Amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and make ourselves some... Why aren't the spears in here? It's weird. I know there was some... What the fuck? All right. Is it like another bit of research that I have to do? Oh, spear making. That would make sense. Uh, okay. Oh, that's fine. We can make, um... We can just upgrade their materials then. So we'll do... Uh, we need four of those. Four of those. And eight of those. And then... those and four of those there we go all right to work oh yes bring more slime sad dwarf hours <laughs> i think i know what i'm titling the next fucking hammer ting stream <laughs> or at the very least having the notification for it it's got like a pistol grip on the side to save space. Oh, and it also its whole thing is to use an anti-armor gun where it pierces slightly and blows the fuck up. Jesus Christ. It's got a very good use in countries where suicide bomber cars are common like the police where you need something that doesn't need uh, extreme precision to be fired again quickly in case you miss. Okay. Pay me for my title. <laughs> There'll be royalties, hun. Don't worry. Oh, we have dwarves that are idling right now? What the fuck is happening? Why do we have a hundred water? The pump. That would make sense. Uh, I think it's done with that. Uh, <laughs> shit. I need to get some proper storage going on. Where'd you go? I just saw you underneath. You just clawed my leg. I don't know where she went. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's go ahead and spend some talent points for these guys. So you have really good health. So let's go ahead and up that up. Up that up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that next it's like a good like yeah okay go ahead and get some talents for you guys how's your awareness we already upgraded that robustness is eh is there like a ooh blue floor is good ting 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 <laughs> we'll give you more robustness uh, there you go. Okay. And upgrade you. Okay, you're the one we really get robustness to. So let's give you some extra greed, greed gain. Push volunteer is pretty good. Shall make a fine fighter. Okay. So we'll give you more wisdom. That's cool. You and your lack of a spam blocker. Well, it doesn't get to the point where, like, I can't read other people's, like, things in chats. You know what? I'm, I'm personally okay with it. We just need for the blacksmith's hammer. That's being made right now. There we go. We got some more for that. That's good. Okay, let's send... Actually, do we have enough to make... Yes, we do. Okay, let's go ahead and do that, then. We'll go ahead and make. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a couple spears, I think. Uh, one, two. We'll just have like a couple peeps that are like dedicated uh, spear dwarves. There we go. Guardsman spear. Nice. Okay. Then let's carve out a little section nearby the smithy, like a chest that we can like place. Um, or into and whatnot. Actually, it's the same for here. And then for that chest down there, I think we'll actually put like uh, ingots and stuff like that in there. Yeah, cool. Good, 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 good. Nice. Okay, sweet. That'll clean up the ground a little bit. Ingots, and we'll do coal. Yeah, that should do. Cool. Alright, just so we can have plenty of fuel in there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
So that's being made. People will be able to have their equipment upgraded. It'll be nice, it'll be perfect. Um, let me see what's going on. Lack of a spam. I hear nothing. I can't send identical messages within 30 fucking seconds of each other. Kind of pisses me off. This is a white paper sub. I can't even turn it off. Is it a sub thing? Um, that's not. It's, not a, it's a mobile thing. It works even when I was subbed. Oh, that's weird. I think Gamma was subbed. I think he was, like, gifted a sub or something. But I think that subscription, uh, that went up. Okay. Okay, so now those guys are going places. Who's got the spear? You got the spear? Cool, good. The militia volunteer. Aww. Nanashik7 gifted a tier 1 sub to Gamma Mutant underscore ultimate. They have given 50 gift subs in the channel. Holy shit, 50 gifted? Fucking A. Thank you, Brian, for that gifted sub. Appreciate that. Okay, who else has got the spear? Do you have the spear? Okay, good. Yeah, you're, you guys are being... You guys are our forward militia. Alright, let's go, scouting party. Who still has outdated equipment? Oh, it might be like the hammers or the axes or something. Although I thought I made pickaxes for everybody. That's weird. Okay, let's actually... Okay, let's go ahead and build down. We'll have them... We'll actually have you guys stay over here. Oh god. Okay, or you can just take care of everything yourself. That's nice. Okay. Nice. Cool. 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 Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yeah. It's whatever. Okay, you're retreating. You need to go back. You have basic, basic bitch equipment. You guys are our forward militia, so get your asses down there. Okay, go, 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 go. Kill the plant. The anti-pog plant. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. Look at all this cave we can explore now. Awesome. Matter of fact, you know what? You can stay down here a little longer. You, my friend, are going to be our explorer. Okay, there's definitely more stuff up there, but I don't think it's much. So that's good. No ads, though, I hope. Twitch fix your ads. A dwarf waits for no man. Also, I got a Spanish ad here. That's interesting. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall. Let me build some scaffold stairs down. One more should do. Yeah. Then we'll build ones that go across here. There we go. Just a very basic ramshackle like cave exploration bit here. Cool. Listen, we don't question the ads. <laughs> the ad gods do not question us, so we do not question. We do not question them. Okay. Well, I think we're in a pretty good position here. I just want. Okay, we have enough for adequate trade records. So, is there anything else that we need before I buy this? I think after this, I'm going to start getting cooking. So that way I can start making my way down to get brewing, which will really help with morale. So yeah, then let's make ourselves a beautiful storage room here. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that underneath everything here. Actually, let's go ahead and do some trading while we're at it. You guys still have demands? Perfect. All right. Oh, you have demands for axes? All right, sure. That's fine. We can we can supply those. Those are our basic bitch axes that we don't need anymore. Does anybody else want our, our picks? 
17, 15, 13, 15. Okay, we'll supply the Elven Kingdom with our picks. Who wants our hammers? 11, 15, 13, 10, 11. I thought I saw 15, yeah, 15. Go ahead and sell those because we already have upgraded tools. Diamond axe. <laughs> We're working towards it, Brian. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Cool. All right. So they're hauling. We're getting our storage facility built, which will be very nice in the long run. We can go ahead and deconstruct this and then build another one not too far. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh man, a hella expensive diamond axe that'll break in one shop. Works fast, your best axe. <laughs> diamond axe is the best axe. Okay. Well, I've definitely explored a lot more of the, the fucking mountain in this playthrough than in my previous one. Holy shit. Which is funny because I have only like one mountain lore left. <laughs> And then this one, once that's built. Okay. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. And then we'll just fucking put everything in there. Really clean up the floors of this place. And then we'll prioritize this with high, that with high as well. But all extras will go in there. So yeah, there we go. Mithril axe. I'm pretty sure there's. I there might be mithril in here. Uh, I know there's like something called white smithing in here, which is like magical smithing. Platinum, heavy metal. Oh yeah, mithril. Yeah, that's a thing. But that's like near the very end of the tiers of uh, knowledge here. Requires 90 mountain lore. Oof. And then the myth of the horde at the very end. The star of Mara. That'll be the day. Mithra axe, wood axe. Why not a good steel axe? Twould serve you well. Yeah, it's a mythical... It's a mythical metal. You dropped the silver axe or did you drop the gold axe? We sold our... I think they're called like grandfather's bronze axes or whatever, but... Um... Maintain... Oh, there's a fuck ton of water here. Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. Well, they're going to be busy hauling all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cool beans. Um. Okay. Cool. And then that's being explored down there. Just kind of build that shit. Yeah, there you go. Where's Scotty going? You need to explore, my friend. Ooh, even more stuff down here. Very nice. What the hell is that? Oh, another goblin. Shit. We'll go ahead and build some more scaffolding. <laughs> get ourselves up there. Can we get you to play Heart's Medicine? What's that one about? Let me see. Let me look it up. Hearts medicine. Time to heal. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Is that on Steam? Season one? Oh, goodness. Very interesting. Cure all the. Oh, it's like a management. Time management. Oh, God. <laughs> That looks interesting. I'll see if I can uh, pick that up when it goes on sale. Okay, so there. The funny thing is, is that is that they're pumping water, but the entire inventory of the previous water pump got dumped when I tore it down. <laughs> so there's just hmm priorities. Hmm makes you wonder. <laughs> 
Okay, well, they'll get it eventually. I think they're prioritizing working down there. Okay, get that done. There you go. Fight that goblin. Yeah! There we go. Slowly but steadily, we're getting more mountain lore. So that's good. Let's see if we can actually... We did construct a dwelling already. God damn it. Alright, I'll build another one. Just to get this fucking annoying-ass quest done. Actually, we'll just build more of them. Because we're definitely going to get more dwarves here in the future. There we go. Okay, cool. That should do. I think we're definitely going to need... Although, I think we got more lumber not too long ago somewhere, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They've almost completely filled out this fucking this fucking water pump here. Amazing. Okay. Well, now that you're done with that, can I trouble you to get literally all of this water and throw it into storage? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Probably gonna wanna explore these caves at some point. What else can I build? Can I build any more rooms? Uh, Arcane Workshop. I know that's part of one of my quests here. 30 Mountain War? Okay, we can build one real quick. There we go. Just get that all set up and done. Smithing level at. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So it looks like the. So I didn't hear a no. Yeah, I didn't say no. I said it, I'm interested in it. At some point. I just didn't see how much it was. Hang on. Let me actually do a thing real quick in the game here. Uh, audio. We'll go ahead and just leave the audio up so you guys can still see what's going on when I'm alt tabbed. Okay. Nope, and it's not doing it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 12.99? Okay. I'm interested. Hearts Medicine Season 1. It's got mixed reviews, but it's mostly positive. Oh. Oh, I, I was just sent a gift. And Eden got me Hearts Medicine. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Brian got it for me. Did Brian beat you to it? <laughs> I, I'll, 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 I'll accept Brian's and I'll... I think it, um... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. It should refund yours. I can decline it and it'll refund it. It's not happy with me right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fun. Um, okay. Why did this killer plant flower? Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Cool. Cool. Good shit. Good shit. Okay. I really appreciate that these cave missions come pretty late into, like, my, uh... Into my playthrough. Like, construct a dwelling. I have already made four of these dwellings. 
Okay, well, there's one constructed. Let me... I'll go ahead and get another dwarf. Fuck it. Look for dwarves. Who is... Stonemason would be good. Machine accident. Oh, God. Okay. I do like... I do like this one. Fleet... Fleet-footed and free spirit. That would be good. Although this one looks pretty good. Energetic and great snouted. Yeah, I like this one. I'm gonna get this one. Six silver? Jesus Christ. Alright, fine. That's fine. And then we'll assign you that home to get us three additional lore. Which should give us a thing? What are we working towards? Was it cooking? I think it was cooking. Yeah. We'll do cooking next. Okay. And then I think for our next segment, we'll go ahead and make our cookhouse. Which we'll have next to our arcane workshop, because why the fuck not? Wait, why can't I put it there? What? What do you mean? Okay. Weird. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm sad I wasn't fast enough. Uh, Brian and Eden both gifted me a game that Brian recommended. They both gifted it to me at the same time. Let me... Hold on. Let me actually check and see if I can decline Eden's gift so it'll refund her. It should do that. Um... I have unread chat messages. What the fuck? Who dares talk to me? Uh, it should have already. I don't see it in my in my gifts. Hold on, gifts. Pending gifts. There we go. <laughs> Please, it's Grey's Anatomy, the video game. <laughs> Best wishes, your boo. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll decline this. There we go. That way you get refunded. Or maybe it gives you the game. And you know what? You can play it too. Okay, who's got outdated equipment? We need to fix that. Because you have access. We can probably just make, like, spears for everybody. That should be fine. Let me actually get more gear set for our new friend that just joined us here. down there. Nice. Cool. Cool. Okay. What can we make? We just need mushrooms. Oh, dude. Bacon of boar. Ooh. Boar bacon brochette. Brochette? Is that how you say it? Broquette? Looks good. Great sea algae for algae pancakes. Okay. Well, we have mushrooms already in the farm. We can probably just up production for those a little bit. Yeah, we can up that to like 60. That should be fine. And then we can have this be at like what, 20 or something? Oops. Just 20. That should be enough to feed everybody. Yes, yeah, so now we just need more First feast. Three. Okay, does anybody actually sell boar bacon? Because I definitely need that. Uh, oh, wait, I actually have a mission. Buy Vendari lumber. I need three more. One, two, three. There we go. That's good. So that'll go up when I go run to grab that. It's not the money spent. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eden. <laughs> Fear me, the villain will reign supreme. <laughs> I also had a gift card I wasn't using. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Okay. 
Where? Who's got bacon? You got bacon? Why is all your shit so expensive? What the hell, man? All right. God, why is... Bro, why bacon so expensive, though? What the fuck? I do not appreciate this shit. All right. All right, listen here, fucking bastards. Oh, where'd all the demand for all the all the shit go? Okay. I see. I see how it is. Premium piggies, apparently. Sheesh. <laughs> okay. Also, Jonah, would you rather learn what the DRG green glue does to your dick or travel through the warp without a Geller field? Hmm. I'm not. Let's. Hmm. You know, I'd be I'd be interested to see what the the green gloop would do to my dick. I'd fuck around and find out. Wait, why do I have a demon bone? What the fuck is this? Okay. Nice. Nice. Cool. 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 <laughs> Let me sell some copper ingots while I'm at it. Okay. I need I need bacon, but it's so expensive, and I need to pay my dwarf friends. Eh, fuck it, I'll just buy it. I'll just up my trade level that way, it's fine. Oh, who else had it? Oh, it's so expensive. I don't like it. Alright, well, that's cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Well, because I want to get my ass to brewing. Oh, shit. We need to actually make a ladle. Someone needs to cook. Who would like to cook? Who's got the highest building level? Actually, you have talents. I'm going to give you some talents. Let's see, what's your deal? You're a good miner, pretty good metallurgist. You already have forge mines, so that's good. Uh, it's like our main stone mason. Hmm. I'll have to assign stuff later. Moat and beam started? Wait, what? When did moat and beam start? the hell do you mean? Recent developments. New task. Who has modem beam? I know it's a mission that I can take. Oh, right. We need the lantern mission done. We can make that real fast. Who has modem beam? Oh! Whoa! They're like... Oh! Like snake people? Like lizard people? That's cool. Ooh. Okay, we can do that. Three beams, ten blocks of granite. Yeah, sure. We'll accept all the missions. We'll just kind of have, like, a finger in, like, every single one of these, like, <laughs> political allies. Listen, man, whatever makes me the most money. <laughs> I don't give a shit about their conflicts. I'll fuel whatever war I need to as long as it pays my dwarfs well. I love that they're, they're like tribal swamp lizard folk, but they're living in like a classic European village. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Cool. Alright. Fuck. Who's being attacked by a green slime? And why? Oh my god. Do you have spears? Do you, do you have a weapon? Click on the dwarf, goddammit. Oh no, not good. Oh god. Okay, our vault's gonna go down. Okay, wow. That was incredibly close. God damn. You send multiple people out to go do trade things, and look what happens. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, do I have enough for. Oh, it only takes one fucking bacon? Damn it. 
<laughs> I wish I had known that. Um, let me see. Let me tell you the story of the one who didn't wipe his shoes. There was once a humble miner who applied for a position at Deep Rock Galactic Incorporated. He was extremely excited for his jo new job and enjoyed his first day working. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm fine with story time. I'm sorry. I was just really wrapped up in what was happening here. It's a rookie move. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen. <laughs> Ow. Why you hit? Why you bully me? There's no need for violence, even. Even stop. <laughs> Quit messing with my lighting. Stop. Stop. <laughs> so now we're the bowling. You for messing with my shit. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Pros of living with your significant other. They can annoy you whenever the fuck they want. <laughs> We have a ton of trade lore, which is good, but I need, <laughs> I need more fucking... Ugh. Okay, I actually want to get more copper ingots going. Because if that's going to be our primary export, I want to have... I want to bring in the dough, you know? Mischievous Eden is mischievous. <laughs> His next few days weren't swimmingly at Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, as Zebra Galactic was going through a period of ease as the glyphic presence was lower than normal. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Oh. Keep hydrated, chap. Hydrate or dehydrate. Okay. We need to make, also make some weapons. Okay, who has the cooking ladle? Does anybody have the cooking ladle? Okay. Who's our best cook? Level one. Level three. Uh, five. Level one. So it's going to be our friend, Arden. Get you that ladle, my friend. Okay. Let's get some mushroom stew going. Uh, we need crab broth. Do we have crab broth? I know for certain we don't have fucking algae for algae pancakes. We may have crab broth. How much do we need? Two. Okay. We might need to go buy that. Who's got algae? You have algae. I will take one of those. Who's got flour? Does nobody have flour? Shit. Okay. There's flour, but there's no like actual like, milled flour. So I need to learn... I think it's the next one is uh, grains and milling. Yeah, I can make flour. Okay. In that case, pancakes will have to wait. Then the next day, he was told to go into the fungus bogs. They told him to wipe his shoes before he went into the drop pod space rig. When he dropped down, he faced massive resistance. In the panic, he forgot about the instructions. He stepped into a massive glop of goo just before he got into the drop pod. And when he got back, he didn't wipe his feet. Uh-oh. Oh no, where's this going? I'm scared. <laughs> Old army ration? Oh my god. That cannot be healthy if you eat that shit. Okay, those are being made. Uh, okay, we need to go explore more of our mountain. So let's go ahead and find our best equipped dwarf. I think it's Scotty who's working on the farm. Oh god, he's going ham on those mushrooms right now. Okay, once he's done, then we'll all of a sudden to go explore. Actually, we need to... We can explore this section down here, I think. Maybe. 
possibly. Let's actually go down here. Hey, Eden. <laughs> Are you having fun there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and get some more scaffolding, because we can never have enough. Alright, get to it, dwarves. That's done. I know there were some crab shells around here somewhere. Because we... There was a few crabs that we... Kind of beat the shit out of not too long ago, right? Or did those fucking shells get eaten? Because my dwarves are gremlins. They're goblins in disguise. Oh, boy. Alright, well... How's our trade level doing? See, they're flower, but is it, like, actual flower? Also, how the hell are we supposed to get jelly cakes? What the hell is a jelly cake? Oh, boy. Okay. It's fine. He went to sleep for the night, and when he had woken up, the space rig was groaning under pressure. He'd stepped out of his room, and every everywhere was infested with the goop. He got a cleaner crew to clean it all up and sterilize the place as he went down for a mission in the Glacial Strata. He did a few more missions and went to bed. Oh, boy. New Viscera cleanup detail map. Deep Rock Galactic <laughs> fucking post-mission in space rig. <laughs> That'd be a fun map idea, actually. Do the devs still update Viscera cleanup detail? Or are they are they pretty much done with that? Because I would love to see that as a map if they ever did another collab. That'd be great. Aren't there green globs in this game? Viscera cleanup detail stream? I wouldn't mind that actually. I played through I played through a little bit of Viscera cleanup detail. And it's actually surprisingly like chill. I like it. I could play it with Eden too. We both have it. How many players can play in one game? Is it four player or is it two player i know it's at the very least two player because eden and i have played before new dlc my room please <laughs> the next morning he felt an aching on his frontal pelvis area oh god <laughs> oh no is this what happens all right let's get a fucking scaffold stair going across this shit this shit is the basis. This is the foundation for all fucking mountain colonies in Hammerting. The fucking scaffolding stair. Incredible. Alright. Okay. Alright, that's being made. We actually have plenty of copper now, so we can probably sell some if we want to. 66. Who else had need for copper? Where's that? That's pretty much... Oh, there's a need for boar bacon. <laughs> Ooh, 73 for granite pillars? Fuck yeah, bro. Take some. Fucking take some. Let's fucking let you get some. Let you get some of this. Let you get some of that. Hell yeah, bro. my dwarves wages god damn it all right head on out yo and then when you get back we gotta build more of that we gotta explore more of the mountain oh shit actually we can do some of this hang on eden's power posing right next to me <laughs> having fun. Wait, embassy started? Did I just unlock new regions? Oh my god. Hey, hon. What's up? You bored? Am I not entertaining enough for you? Yeah, I'm getting there too. We have like a little over half an hour. Okay, they like granite pillars too. I'm telling you guys, granite pillars is the main ep fucking export for any game you play in Hammer Tang. We have the new kingdom. Marunia. Any of y'all bitches sell flour? 
I like when the dwarves go super fast in this game. Joni, you really want to play with me again? No, it'd be super entertaining, hon. I'd love to play Visser Clean Up Detail with you on stream. Yeah, that's the point. It's funny. That's what we're after. Oh, hey, orcs. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. This one, woodsman's axe. I need those. Can fucking one of you guys just have flour for me to buy? <laughs> God damn it. All right. Uh, okay. He checked the mirror and his dick was covered in green blisters and he could see veins filled with the goop running throughout his body. Replacing his blood, though, it wasn't perfect, so he got tired easier. He freaked out. Your dick isn't supposed to look like a giant mass of, <laughs> giant green mass of goo. And he tried to get it checked out by a doctor, but he said that he couldn't help him. Nah, dude, just pour some of the, the fucking, um, what is it, the, <laughs> the medic, like, goop on it. It's fine. Drink too, and call me in the morning. Okay. Cool, look at all that cash. Amazing. Cool, there's plenty of wages in there for him. Okay, really? Just a little bit more. <laughs> God damn. So he went, back on, he went back to work hoping it would go away on its own. And the next morning, it had expanded. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Massive green goo dong? Is that what I'm hearing? Expand goo dong. Okay, there's not much going on in there. Although I think this will eventually, if we dig a long enough tunnel, lead into like this cave here. Or we could just dig down here. And then go from there. Yeah, honestly, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Man, this game really makes me like really excited for eventually at some point when Dwarf Fortress comes to Steam. I would love to actually play that. Cause that's like the OG when it comes to these sorts of games. Oh god. Ugh. No, Eden, don't go <laughs> and you're gonna start a chain. Oh my gosh. There's a fox! Why is there a fox in here? Sly fox. Foxes are traditionally considered a good sign, a sign of good luck among dwarven kind. This good omen of the overworld must have stuck it into the entrance somehow. But then, how did it end up down here? <laughs> what the fuck? The green goo is now filling his entire pelvis area, consuming his previously dummy thick ass, and it was so incredibly painful. Oh no! Poor fucking bastard. Oh, here comes the whole fucking squad. Here they come. Nice. Just instantly murk that fucking slime. Amazing. Alright. Oh, there's a rat, too. That's cool. Honestly, building some of those, like, what is it, like, brick wall doors? Dude, that's not a bad idea. Just getting, like, a nice, like, perimeter or something before I expand. That'd be good. That was a hell of a quote to join stream to his dummy thick ass. <laughs> well, Gamma's been in chat and he's been telling uh, stories. The story of the of the dwarf in Deep Rock who didn't wipe his shoes uh, and he went and got green goop all over the space rig from going to fungus bogs and it got in his dick. It's a very intense story. He should have been here for that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he got some painkillers from the dock and went back to work. Okay, cool. Well, welcome, Holy Man Cow. We are playing a different kind of game for our Mix-Up Monday streams called Hammer Ting. It's like Dwarf Fortress, but uh, somehow more accessible. <laughs> I say as I literally complained about the tutorial not being tutorially enough earlier. So, you know, what can you do? Okay. Cool, cool. All right, well, let's send... Who's got the best weapons? Rina? Rina? What's up, babe? 
Wait, wait, wait. Explore more of this cave here. I literally just need, like, what? Okay, there we go. Grains and milling, and then... I have enough for brewing! Yes! Okay. Where mushrooms grow started. Lena! Why don't you come out here? Come here. Come here, Lena. She wants on my chair. Come on, Bean. You want to come say hello to the people? And listen to story time? I know it's almost bedtime. Okay. The goose spread throughout his body, and when it reached to his head, he lost all control over his body. He was now stuck in his own head, a passenger in his own demise. Oh, God. This is like some, like, the thing type shit. Do you have the green goo in your body? I know you don't wipe your paws, especially when you leave that litter box, you little rascal. <laughs> She's super cute. Is it Carl? <laughs> this is the fate that has befallen Carl. <laughs> okay, well there's a new task set out for us. So let's head to the overworld real quick and see who has it. We're gonna have to see... I know somebody has it. Didn't we buy lumber from you guys? One, two, three. Weird. Okay, we also need to deliver a lantern to them. Uh, where is it? Is it here? Access for the mill. We don't have those yet, because we don't have wood cutting access yet. Who has the, the fucking mission? What? Is it like a... Is it an at-home mission? Oh, where mushrooms grow. Discover verdant grottos. Mushroom stew and silver ore. Wait, did we find a grotto? Are we close to one? Oh shit. Are we gonna find silver? I think we can find silver, chat. Fuck! He slowly and painfully passed away and became the legend known as Carl. Deep Rock Galactic never exposed he died the way he did, except to the most veteran of employees. They tried to cover up, cover it up so they didn't get any lawsuits. Oh shit. This is how Carl was formed, guys. The legend of Carl. All of our dwarves have talents that they need to grab. Your fervor is great, so let's go ahead and up your health just to make you even more beefy. Cool, you're good. Make you also part of our militia. Yeah, okay, you're you're set there. Okay. Your fervor is also great, so let's get that set up for you. We just have a lot of beefy dwarves in here. <laughs> Uh, yes. Beast of Burden. <laughs> yep, you are a hauler now, my friend. A hauler and a fighter. Yeah, we'll make you a militia volunteer. There we go. All right. Nice, nice. All right, cool, cool. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to make more equipment. Uh, oh, right, we have fucking... We can make, like, a uh, brewery now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that shit. Brewery. Put that right next to the... Uh, the cooking hall there. Alright. Build it up, guys. say we've made pretty good progress in like the, the what, almost two hours that we've been we've been going at it yeah there we go all right now we need some gloom wheat because I believe with that we can make flour right yeah so we need gloom flour so we need Gloom wheat first, right? We'll do 20 of that and maintain 20. And then once that gets made, I imagine we'll have flour as an available thing to craft. Now they try to remind as often as possible to wipe your shoes, but a few ignorant employees still fall to this very same fate to the end. How did you like my story? It was quite the thrilling 
cautionary tale, I must say. <laughs> this is why we gotta be careful. Oh, yeah, they're finally picking up the fucking water. Nice. Slowly but surely. There we go. There's a ton of fucking water in here now, isn't there? Yup. Perfect. I think we're pretty much good on everything, so they're just on, like, cleanup duty now. Well, we can fix that, because we have beer to brew. <laughs> now you know what the goo does to your dick. All right. I have been made aware of, of such things. Okay. We need flour, but... Oh! Oh! Okay. So we need... Let's just get like 10 of those. And then just maintain that much. There we go. That way we'll always... We'll always have that. Where's our cook? No, I gave it to somebody. Who has the ladle? Is it you? Is it oh, it's Arnmund, and he's working on medicine right now. Okay, well, he's done, so that's good. Make that flower. And there you go, now you can make algae pancakes. And now we just need crab stuff. Where do we find crab stuff? We need like two shells, right? Does anybody have crabs? So we have crab shells, I should mention, I should add. <laughs> Anybody got crabs? <laughs> oh no, I hear Eden typing. <laughs> Does nobody have crab shells? No crabs here. Okay, good. <laughs> nobody got crab shells. That's a damn shame. Alright. Where am I supposed to find it then? Oh, we need one more crab shell, and then we can complete that order. Okay, so we have to pretty much, we just have to keep exploring until we find more crabs. And to you in general, it just starts with your dick. You have crabs, we have a crab shell, but we don't have crabs. I'm chat. I gotta be real with you guys. This schedule is fucking me up. Normally, I'd be like, you know, raring to go, ready to keep going with the rest of my night. But I'm getting fucking tired. Jesus. <sighs> I'm kind of pushing it by maintaining my current schedule for tonight. But I'm willing to do such because I already got uh, all my stuff done. I need to get done for the night before I go into work later. Okay. All right, well, let's get a nice forward party going. Well, I think now that we got some grains going, let me actually pump this up to like 40. Let's get some brew going. Should start a scoot farm before the crab equivalent. <laughs> I wish I could have a crab farm in this, holy fuck. But I think I just need to find them in the mountain. Which fortunately, there's a lot of it to explore. So, and then eventually I'll get to the point where I can, like, buy it off of, like, other people and everything. Uh, yeah, let's get some fucking beer going. Yeah. Maintain 60. Don't tell me a fucking cook has to... Are you serious? I mean, it makes sense, but this poor bastard has been slaving. Alright, let me get... I can afford another dwarf, right? Yeah, I got another dwelling. Let's see, I need a cook. Level five? Yeah, let's get the fleet-footed free spirit in here. I think it's time. Welcome, welcome. All right, make me another ladle. And then, well, let's get some peeps down to the, uh, where's, okay, so it's Scotty. Holmar. Those are the ones that I need to send down. Make that cook's ladle. And then we're going to give it to Randvik. Okay. Grab yourself a ladle. 
And then make me some beer, please. <laughs> okay. Scotty and Holmar, you, my friends, are going to go exploring. We'll take you guys down here. I really love when they go super fast. Where's Ronvig going? Where are you going? Why are you following them? Oh, okay, you're grabbing brew. Oh, there's something there. Oh, it's a verdant grotto. It's right there. Okay. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start digging it out then. There's some sacks right there. Okay. <laughs> Why I'm sorry. Uh, also, after stream, I'm spread awareness of the goop. Actually, I need to make a new channel in the Discord real quick called Stories in the Corn Discord. Go for it. There we go. The beer is being made. Morale shall skyrocket. It'll be perfect. All right. Why is our new cook going down into the fucking mine? Jesus Christ. I need to start assigning. Okay. There's a rat hole found. Okay. That's neat. Uh, we're going to have you go over here. Actually, where's Scotty and Holmar? You need to go here. And you need to go here to protect Ronvig. And Ronvig, you need to move over here. Just go over here for now. No, no. You need to go help. Go help. Take down the rat hole. Oh god. Oh god, it's a massacre. Oh Jesus, there's so many of them. Okay, I think it's time to run. Yeah, it's time for a tactical retreat. Yeah, fuck this shit. We're leaving. Yeah, okay. We're gonna need to make more spears? Uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna make five of those and five of those and five of those. Yeah, they're, they're coming. The rats are coming. Oh, God, they're following. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's okay. Man, you are a brave fucking dwarf, dude. Holy shit. All right, go attack that one if you can, but head back soon. You need to retreat. You need to go back. And then we'll send these guys down. Yeah, they'll finish they'll finish up down there. There you go, there you go, the rat hole's been dealt with. There we go, look at that, amazing. Cool, we have discovered and destroyed a rat hole. That's a lot of, oh god, there's another one? Oh my, what the hell? Where'd all this come from? I understand this part of the exploration, because this is the cave that we found, but how did this get explored? What? Sheesh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Gee, oh my god. We got so much mountain lore from that. Fuck. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and let them, uh, let them head back and heal. That's good. Well, shit. We can do a lot of research now. Okay. So... 
what can we make? We can make a proper quarry. We can make the the axes that we need to that we need to sell. Ooh. Oh shit. Okay. This is this is getting. Okay. So I haven't gotten this far in my previous playthrough, guys. So we're in for some for some real treats here. Uh, okay. Let's see here. The dwarven wheat beer. Oh. Yeah. Let's get that because I wanna I wanna make some of that stuff. Dwarven wheat beer sounds like a good time, and that should really really boost morale. You can make fucking moonshine? Oh, we need deep hops. Oh, shit. Okay, well, can we... Oh, <gasps> we can make those. Perfect. Oh, that requires 50. Shit. Let's just make 10 of those and just maintain that, because that's a lot to ask from a cave farm. Okay. All right, well... Seems like we have quite a bit ahead of us from all this shit going on right now. We have a lot of rat hide to, to, to deal with, a lot of meat. So you know what? I think it's looking pretty good so far. We still haven't found crab shells. <sighs> Someday. Someday, guys. There we go. just pump more of this out so we can start exploring this section over here, methinks. Okay. Cool. Okay, well... We're definitely going to want to go take care of this bleeding atrium at some point, because there's slimes and stuff there. Ugh. But there's another rat hole that I saw. Yeah, we need to take care of that one next, I think. Why is there skulls? Oh, I don't like that. Why is it called dredst? What the fuck? Okay. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> I know I also want to get into this verdant grotto at some point. Because I really want to get silver down there. <laughs> okay, we're also going to need more coal at some point. Coal and charcoal. How do we get charcoal? How do we make anything that's remotely sustainable? Because, <laughs> I mean, I think the only thing that's really sustainable is our granite, because that we have an infinite supply of no matter what. Which is nice, but we can only go so far with it, you know? What do they have a high demand of? Algae pancakes. Oh. They need mushroom stew. Well, that's good for us. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to start selling some mushrooms, too. Make some more cash that way. Why is some of it 38, but then, like, some of it's, like, 17? What the fuck? Let's sell all that one. Those ones. Those ones. We'll just kind of go down the list, because we need to make more for a uh, mission anyway. There we go. Alright, cool. Then we have plenty of mushrooms stocked up, so we can make more. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Cool, so we'll send out a little... selling party to go sell all that stuff. Be very nice. Cool, it looks like that's all done there. So now, time to keep moving on that and have a bunch of water spill from there. <laughs> oh shit, this storage room's actually almost full. Let's make another one.
Just keep building that below the surface. Sweet. Different settlements might not meet, might not need mushroom soup as much. Apparently, I mean, based on the way that this uh, this is set up here. Um, where was it? Uh, maybe it's not here, but like one of the first settlements that we found. Like, see, like this one has a high demand for granite pillars, which is my main export in my um, my other save, because uh, that has like 57 copper, which is pretty good. Um, and then I think it was this one. This one has like a huge demand for copper ingots, which is insane. It's like 66 copper. That's really nice. Um, yeah, other settlements have like different demands for what they need. And you can also like sort by demand, depending on what they what they want. So you can just clear through clear through those first. How does one make jelly cake? Is that a thing? Oh, Eden's heading to bed. Okay. Well, I'll be joining you in like ten minutes, hon. So don't worry about it. Ugh. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us, hon, in chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, and then we'll be we'll be wrapping up here shortly. Yeah, this is nice. I really enjoyed playing this uh, to kind of just chill out and vibe after today's intense work day. And then we'll go ahead and just do a hundred of those. There we go. Okay, maintain amount of building inventory. That's nice. We'll do that there, and we'll just have ourselves another storage room. There we go. We can store even more shit. Okay. Cool. Oh, shit. This dwarf doesn't even have a fucking dwelling. There you go, friend. God. What's wrong with me? And then we need to build that sometime soon. Let's go ahead and get some more knowledge before we go. We'll go ahead and get um... So I haven't been responding to anything if anyone's asked me anything. You're good. You're good. We're wrapping up here, Gamma, so we'll be uh... we'll be done here for the night shortly. Oh shit, we're nearly on a on railways already? Holy shit. Oh, you know we gotta get the fucking... We gotta get the tavern. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting the tavern. Okay. This is nice. This game is pretty fun looking. Yeah, it's 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 really fun. It definitely... Similar to other games like RimWorld and other... I find that Colony Sims really, like, take a lot of time. Uh... Because they're they're a ton of fun. They really suck you in. Uh, like this one and RimWorld especially. Uh, that one that one really uh, sucked me in a lot. I actually re would really love to play RimWorld on stream because I know there's I'm pretty sure there's Twitch integration for it too. So you guys could be uh, uh, Randy Random. I think that was his name or something like that. Um, yeah, I'd love to do that sometime. That'd be a ton of fun. Also, good night, Jonah. Hope work goes swimmingly, but remember to wipe the goop off your shoes. Wouldn't want to be a Carl, would you? Uh, wouldn't want to be a legend amongst the Deep Rock community? I mean, a small price to pay for salvation. <laughs> Let's go buy some more lumber. Actually, I need to get this expedition done. Let me make a lantern real quick. Just make one of these. There we go. All right. RimWorld also just released a new expansion. Oh shit, I forgot. Ideology and royalty are also a thing. Because I played like the base game. I actually remember when it went to 1.0. I played around that point. And god. I would stay up like so late at night playing that shit. I actually got close to beating uh, one of my saves and building a spaceship and getting out of there. But then I think for some reason I stopped. Uh, I think I just moved on to another game at that point. Um, yeah, have a good sleep. May your sleeps be restful and your dreams be helpful. <laughs> Ears open. I mean, uh, cause the way I have my sleep set up is I usually go to sleep around like, uh, midnight at the latest. I usually like to try and like wind down around 1030, get to bed by 11. 
um, midnight at the latest, and then I get up at 3, head into work at 3.30, uh, start from 4, go till noon, and then um, come home, crash until 6. It's, uh, it's quite the schedule. <laughs> but it works so far, so you know what? That's, that's good. Expedited expeditions completed. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the one with the... Yeah, we're good. One with the lantern. Nice. Alright. Sweet, sweet. But yeah, this game's a ton of fun. Uh, if you have a Humble Bundle, or the, uh, the... Oh god, I keep forgetting the name of it. What is it called again? Humble... Humble Choice. That's, that's where I got this one from. It's one of the free games you can get from there for only, like, 12 bucks a month. Um, and I also got, uh, Yakuza 3, I want to say. Yakuza 3 Remastered from that. There were actually a few amount of games that were, um, decent picks. Oh god, my vault's under attack. God damn it. Alright, I think I need to build a brick wall door. Right about here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just set that up there, I think. Just so we can have a nice wall of defenses right there. That should be good. Shortly. We've got about like six minutes left. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're willing to wait for a minute, I can help you with it. No, not willing. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this game. It's, uh, the tutorial's a little wonky, but after a while of playing it through just by myself and going to like a couple saves where I had to learn shit the hard way. It's, it's a ton of fun. I really enjoy this game. And I really hope that the, the devs keep uh, adding adding stuff to this because this really looks cool. It's like everything I wanted from a, a game I found on uh, uh, Imgur or Imager if you're that person called Dwarf Corp, which is a very similar sort of thing like, like this or Dwarf Fortress. Um... But it just, it was very buggy, and the stability patches that they put in that game uh, didn't really do much. And the dwarves would get very, like, glitchy and shit. So, it was frustrating. I did. I really enjoyed it for what it was, and I was excited that if I was, ex I was hopeful. I was hopeful that the developers would, like, you know, keep improving the game and everything, but it just... It just didn't happen. They added a lot of cool stuff, but it just didn't work out, which is sad. But, you know, way it goes. Okay, what else can we do before we nod off for the evening? Okay, any goobers or monsters want to come our way? Hmm. I think if I do another stream like this, I don't know, I honestly might just like keep playing on this save because <laughs> I'm doing pretty good on it. I mean, that's I guess that's a good question like before I uh, leave stream for the night is would people want to see me like play this again? And if so, would peeps want me to keep the save as, as it is? So that way we can watch this grow together. That storage is almost done. Okay, let's actually build that tavern. I'm down for more. Also like the idea of going with the same save. Okay, I'll probably go ahead and start like a new save that I'll play uh, offline to really get a feel for the game. And let's build our tavern. Can we place blocks? Okay, let's set this up here first. So we want a nice line of blocks right there. A tavern above the entrance of the mountain. I love that. Boop. There we go. Let's do that. Why not? There we go. Would be fun seeing the build up and getting heartbroken when it all falls apart. <laughs> 
I mean, honestly, with the way that the game's going so far, I honestly... <laughs> I'm not jinxing it. I would love to start a new save and, like, kind of up the difficulty, like, slightly. Because this isn't so bad. It's just getting started is honestly the hardest part. And keeping, like, a maintained inventory of all your shit is important. Um, yeah. Oh, that's such a cool, like, tavern aesthetic. I love that. You can make fucking food? Food, drink. Oh, custom order. Oh, that's cool. Workers' provisions. Ooh, mead, roast meat, stone bread? Can you make that? Oh, stone bread. There it is. One flour, one egg, and one water. Yeast. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh, man. Wish you could just have, like, little chicken farms inside the mountain. That'd be cool. But nope. Eggs are an import. Good things fall apart. A harder difficulty could be fun. I mean, I could have, like, a playthrough of, like, you know, I could maintain this save, and then I could have, like, a hard, uh, harder difficulty. I'll probably just up it by, like, one each time. Because this, honestly, normal difficulty is not bad at all. I haven't experienced any, any, like, enemy waves quite yet, but... I don't know, man. Fighting those, uh... Where's that rat hole that I found? Uh... Yeah, that rat hole there. There's a lot of dead bodies there. <laughs> um, actually... Now is a good time, because there's a bunch of hide there. Uh, if they ever gather that up... Let me go ahead and just set up some orders here... For some parchment. There we go. That way, whoever wants to do that can do that. Very nice. Okay, well, I think that's a good spot to go ahead and leave off. So I, now that I know what peeps want, I imagine going on this save for a while longer than upping it after you see how much it can throw at you could be a good idea. Either way, I'm down. Okay, cool. I'll probably stick with this one for a little bit. And then once, I know there's wind conditions you can have similar to like, uh, um, what's the game I'm thinking of? Uh, Civilization, where I think if you like, hey, you okay? Maybe if I like hit one of those like wind conditions somehow early on, um, I could just start a new save from there. Or depending on like you know if this eventually like stagnates and I go deep enough into the mountain where I can't have uh, enough resources to keep up and everything, um, I could probably just start a new save from there. That's the great thing about this game is that. It's pretty much infinitely replayable with the amount of like seeds that they have, I think. Oh, peeps are getting attacked by a rat. Beat it up, beat it up. There you go. Nice. Okay. Cool. Well, I definitely enjoyed this, and I'm excited to keep playing this with you guys. This will be a ton of fun. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do for tonight's stream. So thank you, everybody, so much for coming on out here tonight. Um, it was really nice having a more casual stream tonight than the usual uh, um, high octane streams that come with uh, scary shit and phasmophobia or intense matches in Apex. Uh, do know that I am very excited to play Apex on stream again. I think I'm gonna do that next week because the new season came out like a couple days ago and I really want to save up to get the, the new champion that came with it. Uh, I think Seer is their name and oh their abilities look insanely cool um so i'll probably i'll probably save up my legend tokens to get them when i can um so yeah that'll be fun uh next stream will be on plan for wednesday for another deep rock spawn stream which should be a good time for everybody it was fun man sleep well yeah <laughs> i'll have to check with the the goobers and see if they're available because I know Zach recently got... Also, he also got a job recently, but... His hours have been a lot more unforgiving, I think, than mine. <clears throat> and he's usually pretty tired after every shift. Uh, much like me. So, yeah. Uh, that'll be next stream on Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific time for that stuff. So, be sure to have saved up a lot of points. I know it's going to be difficult with uh, no single-player Sunday streams from here on out. Uh, at least until I get my 
uh, shift uh, schedule change at some point in the future. Um, I'll be posting all updates on that on social medias and in the Discord, which you can find in the little doobly-doo down below, so don't forget to go check those out. And if you somehow find this, if you're somehow just a new viewer, don't forget to follow the stream if you're not following already. Uh, follow the social medias, join the Discord, they're all in the doobly-doo down below. Um, I think that's about it for all those updates. So yeah, thank you everybody for coming on out, and as always, I will hopefully see you. Sorry for digging the mic there. <laughs> Jesus. I will hopefully... <laughs> thank you, Ethan. I will hopefully see you in the next stream. Okay. Take care, everybody. Have a good night.